So for the last two years, you all have been used to seeing this radio in my car. Yeah. And man, doesn't it look so amazing and pretty? But yeah, the way that you see it right now is the way that it works in my car. Just a blank black screen. So what's happening everybody? It's your boy Kenneth Sean, S-E-A-N, with the world famous do, 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 do. Built versus Bought, formerly Blue Over Media. Today I am switching out the joining 11.6 radio that I installed in the car two years ago. And um, I'm buying another one. And so I'm gonna show you all the process as I get prepared for Fox Toberfest. I could not go to Fox Toberfest with a broke, busted radio. And so I'm gonna show you all the new radio and then get this thing installed, wired up and go from there. So yep, that's the old joying radio. Um, there was nothing joying-ish about it. There was no joy. This thing brought me nothing but heartache and pain. And look, it wasn't even cheap. And so I am moving over to this radio right now, non-sponsored, so I ain't promoting them too much, but this is an 11.6 and this is a 10.1. Got it off of Amazon, um, relatively cheap. And no, I'm not going with a Pioneer or nothing expensive right now because when I decide to one day do a custom set, I'll do that. But the first thing is, shout out to the world famous 417 Fox, aka Michael Johnson. He made this kit in one day and shipped it the same day for me. I told him what was going on. And as always, he looked out for me. And this is the second time I had to get one of these kits from him this year because I had to double in. But just as a FYI, I'm always going to support these small businesses because they are the main ones that support me as it relates to sponsorships and just looking out and just, man, when I'm in, a, in need of help, guys like like 417 Fox, and he's always every time looked out for me and I was in a pinch and I'm like, hey, I need this ASAP. And so he made this single den one for me. And so I'm real excited about that, real excited about him. Um, hooking that up for me and working that out. All right, so let's unbox this one. Let's see what we got here. So as you can see, this is the unit. Yeah, Real small, man, not heavy at all. Real small, pretty cool. I like how you can do this. I like how it works, but it's very, very small. And look at that there in comparison. Like, man, that's like night and day. Look at the difference between that and then how long that one is, that's gonna change the game for me. So that is the actual unit. And obviously, boom, it's gonna sit just like that in 417 Fox kit, and that's how it will sit in the car. So excited about that. Let's do the screen now. Wiring harness, obviously gotta merge with this one. Backup camera stuff. I'm actually gonna try to use the current camera that I have. Hopefully I won't have to do this. So we'll see. Instructions. If necessary, but I don't think I will need this. And then voila. There goes our screen. Let me um let me actually take it off the plastic. And there you have it. Now what do I like about this already? This right here. Having this knob is gonna change the game for me because I'm gonna put them side by side with the other one. It's very hard, like when you're driving this, you have to make sure that screen works. So having this knob changes the game. Is it as wide as that one? No. Um, tall, yes, but wide, no, as you can see. But it's not that far off. I think that this one is gonna give me a little bit more screen coverage, but I really like that right there. Now, what is gonna be the game changer for this is that it mounts to the screen like this and it has adjustability so i'll be able to move this up and down so real real excited about that this is not an instructional video on how to wire and all of that like if you all don't know how to do that you can figure that out somebody somewhere has that video but i am going to put this wiring harness together and uh get this thing uh installed in this car and kind of show you all what it looks like uh installed in the car we'll go from there so stay tuned all right so it's installed there it is 
Now, I know a lot of you all are asking, well, man, that looks pretty close to your uh, shield. I'm like, well, still a lot of space here. So that's enough space for me and so but there you have it screen is installed i have the ability to go down with it which i would never do or to go up with it but i need to hold it with the camera down hold on <laughs> boom so hopefully you caught that but if not yeah there it is so let me turn the key on show you all Oh yeah, just in case you didn't see interior pieces. <laughs> We're almost ready for Fox Overfest. Here we go. Oh. And look, quickly connects to Bluetooth, which I am so thrilled about. Let me pause this. But quickly connected to Bluetooth, which the other radio would take forever. Obviously, it goes right to Apple CarPlay, but everything that you need, then you can go here. Um, I'm going to change a few of the things, but I am very, very happy about this. Uh, I'm very happy that I have this set up. And it's a temporary setup. I can also, if I want to plug in the phone, you got this right here. I can plug it in, wrap it around. But I'm going to mess around with some of these. I don't want these colors to keep changing. I'm going to leave it strictly like gold or orange, but um, it's in here everything works real simple install and shout out to like i said 417 fox i didn't put the covers over the screws just yet but his kit fits so flush i mean it is i mean it's, it don't get much better than that oh and then if you wanted to you can turn the screen left well that would be right but that that way and you can go you can tilt if you want as well so it's just so many different things and different ways that you can do it and look, I'm still not touching it. So, so many different ways that um, this thing works and I'm real thrilled with it because that other radio just was not working. If I was recording that by now, the screen would've went out. So bottom line is that I'm almost ready for Fox Overfest. Um, as you all can see, like I said, I mean, I guess I'm not surprised at you anymore, but <laughs> interior pieces in there, got that there. And so now I'm waiting on my man Thomas put that fiddle fart piece right here. It had, he had, we have the matching color that's gonna go right here. And so that'll be the next piece. Other thing I gotta do is um, I'm running wire from here. I wanna run these from my amp. Originally I used to run these speakers into the radio, but now I wanna run it from my amp. So I'm gonna run that to the uh, rear of the car and allow those, all the speakers in the car to run off the amp. I didn't even hook up the speaker harness on this radio. I only ran power. Um, and then the backup camera. Oh, I didn't even show you all that. Like, gotta show you all the backup camera. Like, life wouldn't be fun without that. Now, would it? Bam, look at that right there. Backup camera, whoo. Look at that, look at the lines. Yep, the backup camera is there. And just in case you didn't know, oh yeah, got that camera working well too. But backup camera is there. So, like I said, very very excited about this radio the reviews on amazon were well and so i should be good temporarily for right now so for those of you all that say hey man you need to get a pioneer alpine and all that look i'm not denying what you're saying i'm not gonna sit here and say that you know i'm not i shouldn't have gotten maybe the the fifteen hundred dollar radio but at this point man i'm just trying to make it to this event you got to understand the level of time and money that i have into this vehicle is enough and so Right now, I just needed something that'll work. This works, it works well. It still gives me a wide screen. But listen, that joint is trash. And that's where it needs to go. Just like how I started the video. It's the perfect time to put the daggone radio in the trash. Yeah, this is it. So do me a favor, let me know what you all think about this below. Like I said, we're right before Fox Overfest, a few days away, and so I'm just trying to get this car ready. So if you like this video, do me a favor, make sure you like and subscribe. Go to BuiltVersusBought.com. And hey, make sure you visit my booth. It's, the, it's gonna be a blue old media booth, but we're doing the baddest Fox bodies at Fox Overfest Live. Man, it's gonna be something that you don't wanna forget. It's your boy, Kendall Sean, Bill Versus Bought. I'm out.